In this video, I'm going to show you how I was inspired by that. Keep on watching to learn how. I'm starting off with my cheeks. I'm using a small amount of this ELS HD blush in the shade Headliner with a mini stippling brush. Cream blushes are best applied after your moisturizer and or foundation. Now straight to the eyeshadow, I'm going to play with this Be Yourself palette. I'm applying a sheer green color on my whole eyelid with a Virginia Olsen eyeshadow brush and I'm basically just putting this as a wash but if you want to pick, go ahead and switch to a deeper matte eyeshadow. Next I'm gonna take this gold eyeshadow with a pencil brush and applying it to my tear duct. After that I'm gonna highlight the inner corner with any light color from the palette using the same pencil brush. Now I'm going to take an even darker green eyeshadow and placing it on the outer V to bring out the eyeshadow on the middle even more. And if you notice, I didn't blend everything yet because now I'm putting more contrast. I'm creating a warm tone by adding a brown color on the crease and then blending it until it looks smoky. Just for fun, I'm going to edit the lower part and mixing a small amount of Skin and Aga and a mineral eyeshadow called Solar Flare from Virginia Olsen with a tiny synthetic brush and then just putting that all over the lower part. Doing this technique will help you apply the loose eyeshadow with ease and it also makes it last longer. Same with a super orange eyeshadow, I'm going to take this blue eyeliner and literally line my eyes. It depends if you want a thick or thin line but Right now, I feel like exaggerating my eyeliner, so I'm making it fat and usual that it takes up a lot of lid space. I chose the color blue because I think black is too strong for summer. I feel like if I did this in black, then it won't complement the colors we've put in a while ago. Next, you know the drill, curl your lashes and apply your favorite mascara or mascara. Moving on with the lips, I'm applying this matte lip cream from NYX. It's basically a semi-nude color that goes with anything I wear. Then on top of that, I'm taking this Revlon lip butter in Peach Parfait for a glossy finish. To finish it off, I'm just gonna powder my whole face and then put on my contact lenses. Which should I wear? Anyhow, I think this look is definitely a great way for you to enjoy summer and get out of your comfort zone. The colors are really fun and still appropriate this season. Then you can just tie your hair up or something because it's so hot. I hope you try this makeup look. Don't forget to wear sunblock and see you on my next video. Take care! So I try.